Li Wani's parody of the way he travels has sent him to the realm of transcendence. He inherited the power of the original transcendent and was invincible at the beginning. So he embarked on the path of connecting the world and becoming a behind-the-scenes musician. Nemesis In case, you promised to make me understand the true meaning of life. Gu Yi You are an 18-year-old driver, bullying me, a cute girl over 500 years old. Is this okay? This is not good. Peggy. Give me the double star mode, I'm Captain Supercarter. Natasha. Boss, if you don't come here to nourish us, sisters will wither. Diana. My legs are long and white, come and touch them. Bruce Kent. Clark Wayne, don't act recklessly, use your super brain quickly. Sherlock. Stamens, who do you want me to become today? Aurelia. The Celia store has released new skins. Karma. Sa and Sa. Never waver. Kaisha. I'm not wearing autumn pants. Libra Jeansi. My sitting killer is not like that. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 I don't have a golden finger. Then I'll just. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A distant place, far beyond time and space. There was a blank space with nothing, and suddenly a young man from the Dragon Kingdom appeared here, wearing only his upper body and his lower body completely naked. In just a few microseconds, a tiny crack quietly appeared here, even smaller than the atomic radius, as if it was the smallest gap in the universe. Immediately, a fiery crimson energy gushed out of the crack like a torrent, pouring into this void. Immediately after, these energies wrapped around the young man at an extremely fast speed, gradually infiltrating into his sleeping body. After a while, the man from the Dragon Kingdom slowly opened his eyes. After seeing the space that seemed to be composed of a blank canvas, he instantly woke up from his dazed state and fell into contemplation. Because he finally realized that he should have traveled through the world. Li Wani, a street fighting writer from the Dragon Kingdom, posted his debut work on the Felu Novel Network. However, as soon as the work was released, it encountered a street crash, which made him feel very frustrated. He, who has just finished writing, has accumulated a large amount of bold eight energy in his body. He felt very unwell, so he decided to go to the bathroom. As he squatted on the toilet smoking Yunlong cigarettes, he began to contemplate the reasons for his failure. Suddenly, a huge suction came from the toilet and sucked him in. He was sucked in by a strong suction force, and the equipment in his lower body instantly disappeared without a trace. As a result, only his upper body appeared alone and strangely in this void canvas. As soon as Li Wan recalled the little things he had passed through, he immediately felt an endless feeling of roast in his heart. How could a traveler like me start a new life from the toilet? At least leave me a pair of shorts he thought with a bitter smile. Fortunately, this blank canvas is empty and lifeless, otherwise he might have become the laughing stock of everyone. After roast about the unhappiness in his heart, Li Wani's mind turned to the necessary golden fingers for the passers. By. As a child from the Felu orphanage and also a Felu street fighting writer, he knows well that crossing the world and reaching that world is not important, the key is his deep blue, and how much energy can be exerted by the added golden finger. Only with sufficient strength can crossing the world become meaningful. Therefore, he summoned his own system in his mind, hoping to gain stronger power. Hello, hello. System. Are you there, system, I need your help now, please let me know. After Li Wani's inner conversation ended, he found that there were no systematic prompts ringing in his mind. This made him feel heavy, and he realized that he might not have a system. Perhaps it is because of the special space he is in that he is unable to activate his golden finger. Without the support of his golden finger, Li Wani felt helpless and confused, as if he was in a difficult situation. So, he could only start exploring in this endless void, 
trying to uncover the secrets of this mysterious space. However far he went, there was still an endless blank space around him. His steps became heavy, and every swing made his little one feel uncomfortable, making it very uncomfortable. So he rose in his heart. Mad, the space of reincarnation. Lord God. If you want me to do any tasks, at least prepare some clothes for me first, I'm just a naked person now, it's really, chicken, uncomfortable. Please, can you give me some dignity? Just give me a set of clothes first, then let's talk. When Li Wan Wan had the idea of hoping to get a set of clothes, a fiery crimson energy suddenly burst out of his body, instantly enveloping him tightly. In just a few seconds, his image underwent a earth-shattering transformation. His originally bare body was replaced by a casual and fashionable outfit, and he transformed from a decadent naked man to a charming handsome man in an instant. Faced with this sudden change, Li Wani froze. He couldn't believe that he had just made such a miraculous transformation with a simple thought. He didn't even know when he had gained this crimson power, but all he knew was that in just one thought, his image was completely refreshed and his whole body was washed. What exactly is this kind of power? Is it omnipotent? Or is it the more mysterious power of my imagination? With such hopeful thoughts, Li Wani silently probed in his heart. I want to leave this space. With that, the thoughts in his mind had just fallen. The gap of atomic caliber, which he had never even noticed, slowly twisted into a vortex, forming a portal. On the other side of the portal was an endless darkness, and Li Wan Wan faced the mysterious and eerie portal. Despite his inner unease, he knew that staying alone in this blank space was far better than bravely exploring the unknown world. So he resolutely stepped into the portal. Subsequently, he silently stood on a street in the style of the 1970s and 1980s. After seeing the familiar and unfamiliar surroundings, he was not sure which world he had traveled to. So he tried to use his own crimson energy to explore, wanting to know which world this place really is. To his surprise, the crimson energy in his body was exceptionally powerful. With just one thought, these energies brought everything around him into its control. By reading the memory fragments in these people's minds, they all know what has happened recently and afterwards. He finally understood which world he had traveled to. In an instant, the corner of Li Wani's mouth curled harder than AK to hold down, and he couldn't help but think of the source of all evil in his heart, then sighed. I actually became a primitive transcendent. Is there any royal law in this world? Is there still a law, who else? Can you fight me? P.S. The author would like to explain that the protagonist is a new primitive transcendent, and there is no plot of giving up. We will discuss it in detail in the next chapter. By the way, I hope everyone can support me a lot. Please give me some flower reviews and give me a reward. If readers have any opinions or suggestions, young authors will humbly accept and correct them. The picture shows the transcendent. Chapter 2. Choose the path to strength and find new opportunities. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The excitement in Li Wani's heart swelled like a balloon, but he quickly regained his composure. After delving into the memories of the people around him, he couldn't help but marvel that the timing of his journey was just right. Time, location, and human harmony are all indispensable. The moment he traveled was at the end of the Second Secret War in 1985. The primal transcendent chooses to be reincarnated as a baby at this moment, eager to fully integrate into the lives of ordinary people. So, he completely stripped away all his transcendent power and injected it into a reincarnation device he had created. Then, he transferred all his consciousness to the baby's body. After experiencing a slight explosion of transcendent power, the heroes also understood the danger of both Xiao Chao and his power. They have all decided to eliminate this, primitive transcendent baby, that has completely become an ordinary person. The plan is to destroy this reincarnation device full of transcendent power. Mr. Magic Reed, however, prevented the actions of the heroes and explained the reasons behind them to everyone. 
because the slightest bit of transcendent force just now almost wiped them out. If this full power of transcendence is detonated, the entire universe will be blown away in an instant. Subsequently, the heroes also understood the result of their reckless actions. So, they pondered in their minds how to have a good conversation with the transcendent and kindly let him leave this universe. However, the molecular man Irving suddenly fell into a frenzy, insisting on completely eliminating the dangerous factor of Xiao Chao, which is destroying the world. Numerous heroes tried to stop him from doing so, but he still destroyed the reincarnation device. The energy response of the transcendent force is about to destroy the entire universe in an instant. At this critical moment, the molecular man Irving subconsciously applied the method of transcending the field for the first time. Successfully transferred these pure transcendent powers perfectly into the realm of transcendence. A somewhat flawed time loop for the second secret war has been formed. He crossed into the realm of transcendence just a few subtle moments before the power of transcendence transferred to it. Becoming the only conscious entity in the realm of transcendence, it is natural to become the new, primitive transcendent. Thinking of this, Li Wani couldn't help but cheer in his heart, as if hearing the praise of the Bible in his memory. Never before has such a perfect start, please cheer for me. Drink for me, cheer. Okay after silently lamenting his luck in the depths of his heart, Li Wan Wan instantly fell into confusion about the future. He has become a primitive transcendent, second only to OAA as a collection of Marvel Universes in the Marvel Universe. Truly under one person, possessing absolute control over the entire omnipotent universe at will. However, in the Marvel world, we have reached a state of omniscience and omnipotence. He couldn't help but worry whether he would also be like Nemesis and Xiao Chao, the goddess of revenge. Eventually, they will also choose to self-destruct due to endless boredom. At this moment, Li Wani felt deeply confused about his future path and silently pondered in his heart. If you choose to conquer the well-known female heroes and villains in the Marvel Universe. My subconscious can also completely influence them, in that case, wouldn't I become the male lead in the Thunder Sword series? If I want some perfect wings, I can also create them as I please. Aren't they no different from the Holy Grail sold by some up owners like this? I might as well reward myself, the most important thing is, I am still in the concept of Marvel Universe now, so how can I become stronger in the future? So, Li Wan Wan fell into deep contemplation, his heart filled with confusion. Suddenly, his eyes lit up as if he had found the answer, and a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind. Beyond. Beyond. My concept as a transcendent is to transcend everything, if I constantly deepen my own concepts and deepen the concepts of other dimensions, can I change my own concepts? Even breaking through the limitations of Marvel's universe and connecting to different universes. Meeting the wings in memory to achieve true transcendence. Li Wani's heart became increasingly excited about this idea, and his eyes became more and more firm. He is determined to embark on a unique path, starting from Marvel, to become a musician who connects all worlds. At this moment, he remembered his fellow patient who had a similar experience with Xiao Chao. Nemesis, the goddess of revenge. When her image and setting instantly came to mind, Li Wan Wan was convinced that her consciousness must exist in this 616 Marvel Universe. He is determined to start with her and shape a deeper self. Concept. So, he instantly sensed Mr. Tony Stark, the playboy in the 616 main universe, and teleported to him. After pausing his consciousness, Li Wan Wan successfully extracted a golden gemstone from his mind. It is a rare self gem in the Marvel Universe. Subsequently, he returned to his career beyond the realm with this self-gem. Immediately utilizing his transcendent power, he attempted to establish a connection with the consciousness of Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, in the gemstone. Hello, can you hear me? Nemesis, are you there? Squeak. As soon as Liwani finished speaking, the golden self-gemstone melted into a pool of flowing water. The flowing water slowly condensed into a tall and slender queen, dressed in white queen attire, wearing a crown, 
with purple skin tone and long legs. She is one of the most versatile cosmic-level powerhouses in the Marvel Universe. Nemesis, the Goddess of Revenge P.S. This chapter can be considered as the overall root of the author in this book. Do you know the difference between O Deridata and OAA? I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will reply once they see it. By the way, I beg for your support. Please cast some flower evaluation votes, kneel down and ask for various data, and ask for rewards. If readers have any opinions or suggestions, young authors will humbly accept and correct them. The picture shows Nemesis, the goddess of revenge. Chapter 3 The Correct Path Has Been Determined, Remake You are listening at NovelFull.audio Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, quietly awakened from her slumber. Her golden eyes were like sparkling stars, gazing deeply at Liwani, as if to gain insight into his inner world. Her gaze was deep and focused, revealing an endless curiosity and exploration. Finally, she couldn't help but question Liwani. Why can't I perceive your identity? I can't perceive your past and future either. Who the hell are you? Why bother my peace? Liwani, facing Nemesis's doubts, did not try to be mysterious, but revealed his identity to him with a smile. My name is Liwani, and I am the master of this transcendent field. My identity is that of a transcendent. Nice to meet you, Nemesis. She did not inquire how Liwani learned her name, as she knew she could not pry into his past and future. In her view, Liwani's existence transcended her cognition, his concepts and abilities far exceeded hers, as if he were an omniscient existence. So Nemesis asked Liwani her second question, hoping to get an answer from him. Is this called, Beyond the Realm? Doesn't it belong to the universe that I have existed in? No wonder I can no longer reach my other powers. When Li Wan Wan noticed a hint of human curiosity in Nemesis's expression, which was originally devoid of desires and desires, he immediately began to explain. That's right, this transcendent field is independent of the Marvel Universe. The Marvel Universe I am referring to is the name of the universe you are in. Therefore, in this transcendent realm, both your power and perception abilities will fail. As soon as Liwani's words fell, more human emotions began to emerge from Nemesis's previously indifferent face. After he finished explaining, she surprisingly showed such acute expression. He pursued the victory and quickly threw the second question at Nemesis, tempting her with demonic whispers. You are so beautiful and powerful, yet you feel lost and unable to find the meaning of your existence because of your omnipotence. After getting tired of this world, you choose to close yourself and split your power. However, I believe that choosing to rest is not necessary, and there are actually many solutions. Therefore, I awakened you, hoping that you can rediscover this beautiful world. Of course, my appreciation for you is also an important reason to awaken you. Now, are you willing to enjoy the beauty of life with me? Let's experience this world together, no longer pursuing omniscience, but enjoying the joy of the unknown. When Li Wani's words fell, Nemesis did not immediately respond. She was like a contemplative little woman, gently caressing her chin with delicate fingers, lost in deep contemplation. Time seemed to stand still around her, until her gaze changed from doubt to determination. She finally spoke, her voice revealing a new determination. I am willing to give up omniscience and experience every moment of life with you. As Nemesis's resounding and firm words fell, Li Wani, as the master who controlled beyond the realm, immediately sensed a subtle transformation within the realm. Originally like a blank slate, the transcendent realm gradually emerged with profound concepts such as time, space, reality, power, soul, and soul. On the canvas, a mysterious singularity quietly emerged, and then the magnificent scene of the Big Bang unfolded within the realm, giving birth to a brand new universe. Liwani deeply felt that Nemesis was merging with the transcendental realm, and her concept slowly withdrew from the Marvel Universe and integrated into the core of the realm. As she deeply integrates with the transcendent realm, 
the space of the realm is quietly expanding, and his own transcendent power is constantly strengthening. He successfully chose his own path, deeply understood and integrated his ideas into various concepts, and was convinced that this was the right path. Subsequently, Nemesis suddenly realized something and exclaimed in surprise. In case I find that I can connect with this transcendent field, my concept is gradually being withdrawn from the Marvel Universe. I am slowly integrating into the realm of transcendence, isn't it a bit bad for me to do so? Am I stealing your authority? When Li Wan Wan heard Nemesis's words, he couldn't help but smile, feeling that she was really cute and helpless. You are constantly growing and striving to improve yourself. Don't choose not to quietly make a fortune, but don't forget to report your progress to the owner. Li Wani felt a bit amused by her behavior, but at the same time, he didn't care. Because when he crossed over, he completely became a concept beyond his own domain, becoming a marvel like OAA. He is now both a transcendent whole and the only one. After the concept of any person or thing is integrated into the realm of transcendence, it will no longer be able to surpass it. However, despite being unable to surpass themselves, they still have the ability to surpass themselves and reshape their own destiny. This is the true essence of transcending domains. Li Wani smiled and whispered to Nemesis. Don't worry, just steal. Your growth will also make me stronger. This is a win.win -win situation, and the name, Transcending the Realm has passed away. We should call it, Transcending the Universe. Look over there, because of your existence, a brand new universe is emerging. Nemesis turned his gaze to the point pointed by Li Wani and was surprised to find that a brand new universe had emerged in their transcendent realm. She couldn't help but find it interesting because this universe was not created by her own hands, but naturally formed unconsciously. As the creator of this universe, Nemesis is full of curiosity about this unknown world that exists independently without her influence. She decided to temporarily put aside her desire to explore the new world and instead asked Liwani with a curious expression. In case, where should we go now and what should we do? As Nemesis finished speaking, Li Wani stared at her unique and charming posture and slowly spoke up. I plan to go to a relatively peaceful earth, become a person with certain abilities, and experience the daily life of ordinary people. He paused for a moment before continuing. However, your skin color may attract attention on earth, perhaps you can consider changing yourself. After hearing this, Nemesis felt that it made sense, so he used the transcendent power that constantly integrated into his body. I have changed my skin color and figure. Subsequently, a longer-legged eastern beauty with even greater waves appeared in front of him. Li Wani stood up slightly after seeing it, maintaining his respect for new Nemesis. Then, Nemesis, who had completed the change, asked him with a smile. I think your skin and hair color are very beautiful, so I imitated you as a reference object. However, I feel that my previous body shape was not very suitable for my ideal new image. So, I made a slight adjustment to make it more full dot bodied. What do you think of my new posture now? Li Wan nodded in agreement. I think you look very perfect now, we can start our journey now. P.S. There was something that appeared in this chapter, which was a small foreshadowing. Can you guess? I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will reply once they see it. By the way, I beg for your support. Please cast some flower evaluation votes, kneel down and ask for various data, and ask for rewards. The image is a reset version of the Nemesis concept map. Chapter 4 Does Koichi also have a new skin? Famous Dishes you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After praising Nemesis's new skin, Li Wani. He quickly used the power of transcendence to perceive the situation in various universes in the Marvel Universe. He now knows very well which Marvel Universe he should go to settle and develop in. Although, as the new, transcendent, he can freely control everything in the 616 Marvel Universe. Soon, this universe will be destroyed by the infinite gloves and will restart as a new universe. 
no matter how much one changes what happens in the 616 main universe. However, in the future, this universe will continue to incorporate new concepts. Let its main melody continue to transform into a universe constantly undergoing destruction, and then restart the major events of the universe. Therefore, setting the basic drive here is not wise. So, he decided to search for a Marvel Universe that would not be destroyed for the next few hundred years as his development base. Subsequently, Li Wani sensed a universe with a lower level but constantly absorbing new concepts, that is exactly the Marvel movie universe he is very familiar with, numbered Earth.199999. So, he quietly opened a portal to this Marvel movie universe in Beyond the Universe and carefully selected a suitable time point, ready to step into this new world full of infinite possibilities. Then, Li Wani invited Nemesis to prepare for their departure, just as they were about to leave. Without hesitation, Nemesis grabbed Li Wani's arm, which surprised him a bit. But he didn't think much, he thought it was just Nemesis's trust in him. Then, the two of them crossed the Beyond Universe and stepped into the center of the Marvel movie universe. Earth. And it appeared on the somewhat depressed streets of Brooklyn, New York at 23.30 on June 14, 1943. Subsequently, they immediately discovered a mysterious mage wearing a yellow wizard robe and a hood. Both sides remained silent, but as a traveler, Lee Wan immediately recognized that the mage was Gu Yi. Meanwhile, the life hierarchy of Nemesis is placed here. She was constantly being slowly amplified by the power of transcending the universe, and with just one thought, she gained insight into the other person's identity. Then, Koichi slowly took off her yellow wizard hood, revealing not her iconic reflective powerhouse emblem, but rather a head of flowing and beautiful golden long hair. Li Wani was surprised to find that she had grown hair. At this moment, Gu Yi's face is covered in collagen, with a sweet yet majestic expression. It seems to blend the charm of Tilda Swinton, but it is even more beautiful and moving than her. This young and beautiful face is not at all like the 50-something look in the movie universe, but rather like a young girl aged 18 to 23. Li Wan was momentarily confused, but soon realized that all of this might have been his own doing. After all, Koichi's situation is similar to Nemesis, and I should have chosen to redeem her. She was also tired of work and chose to end her life through plot killing. Otherwise, how could Gu Yi, who possesses Heavenly Father level strength, die in the hands of Cassius? At this moment, Gu Yi walked towards them with a friendly smile and warmly greeted them. In case, Sister Nemesis, it's been a long time since we last met. You guys have finally returned, I shouldn't be late. After Gu Yi's words fell, Li Wan Wan and Nemesis exchanged a glance and instantly understood her intention. So, they all responded to her in unison. Gai, of course you didn't come late, the time was just right. Subsequently, after a few brief pleasantries, Koichi opened the door to the dimension of Kamataj. The two of them were welcome to rest, and it was already early morning. Koichi arranged a warm room for them to rest. Li Wan Wan looked around and found that in the courtyard of this Chinese ancient style building, there was only one bedroom and one bed. So, he fell into contemplation and was planning to find Gu Yi. Explain to her that she is currently not in a romantic relationship with Nemesis and ask her to find another bedroom to rest in. Just as he was about to turn around and bid farewell to Nemesis, intending to leave first. I saw Nemesis suddenly walking up to me and pulling off his inner and outer pants. I showed Li Wani a famous dish from the dragon country. Shua Di. Then, the two of them fought fiercely together. The two of them used their 18 martial arts skills one after another, leaving traces of battle throughout the entire room. One night passed, and the two of them slept on the bed in the bedroom. They entered sage time and chatted happily. Li Wani broke the silence first and raised his own question to Nemesis. Why did you suddenly choose to fight like this with me? And you have just regained consciousness. But the combat skills are so skilled, what's going on? Li Wan Wan's words fell, 
and Nemesis still had a satisfied expression on his face. She lazily answered slowly. You once told me that you are willing to always enjoy the beauty of life with me. When I came to this world, I used the power of transcendence to browse through the memories of humanity. I immediately understood the profound meaning in your words. You don't just want us to enjoy the beauty of life together. But rather, I hope we can become partners and walk our lives together. However, I must admit that these human knowledge are indeed quite interesting, and they have given me a sense of physical and mental pleasure now. As Nemesis's words fell, Li Wani's heart was instantly filled with tears and laughter. He really admires Nemesis and also quite likes her. I intended to gradually deepen their relationship over time. However, Nemesis misunderstood his meaning through his interpretation of world knowledge. This has accelerated the progress of their relationship, transcending all aspects of behavior between men and women, and directly reaching the root. Liwani couldn't help but admire the richness of human knowledge, but also felt happy that he could no longer become a great mage. I couldn't help but laugh at the sound of a pig in my heart and sigh in my heart. Thank you, my fellow countrymen and friends. Thanks to you creating so much novel knowledge, I have enjoyed a lot in this battle. Battle, it's great. P.S. Why does Gu Yi arrange the protagonist and the two of them like this in this chapter? It's a small foreshadowing, can you guess? I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will reply once they see it. By the way, I beg for your support. Please cast some flower evaluation votes, kneel down and ask for various data, and ask for rewards. The picture shows the young actor Tilda Swinton playing Gu Yi. Chapter 5 Picking Apples, Privatizing Marvel You are listening at NovelFull.audio Happy times are always fleeting, as if in the blink of an eye, one has already walked from late night to early morning, Li Wan Wan and Nemesis had already woken up and completed their daily toiletries. I decided to go together to search for Koichi and share breakfast with her. Although they have transcended their dependence on external energy and reached an eternal realm. But Li Wani still loves his daily life as an ordinary person, especially his passion for food remains undiminished. Nemesis imitated Li Wani, hoping to experience the beauty of life by experiencing human life. Then, in the reception hall of Kamataj, the three people sat together and enjoyed Chinese breakfast such as soybean milk and deep dot fried dough sticks, enjoying this simple and warm moment. Nemesis once disdainful of human food, but now he savors it with relish, with happy little stars twinkling in his eyes. And Li Wan Wan sensed the difference between Gu Yi and the old time and space, trying to find out how to take the most correct action next. He instantly understood her essence, although her current appearance is a vibrant young woman. But he saw in his eyes that her body was filled with cosmic energy representing darkness. However, she still maintains her human form. This means that she has not completely detached from her human identity, has not yet fully transformed into a pure energy existence, crossing the levels of life. Moreover, the power of Koichi has surpassed that of the Heavenly Father level in Marvel's movie universe, and its actual power is closer to the half-step single universe level existence depicted in the fantasy world. After a thorough insight into everything about Gu Yi, Li Wani suddenly became enlightened. He is aware of the details and has a clear plan for future actions. He decided to start implementing that important plan immediately after the three of them had breakfast and had a break. At this moment, Gu Yi, who was drinking morning tea, also witnessed the transformation of Li Wani's expression from confusion to sudden enlightenment. She gently raised her thumb and expressed approval to Li Wani. Subsequently, after the three of them had eaten and drunk their fill, Li Wan Wan and Nemesis planned to set off to complete the task that should have been completed. As the three of them bid farewell, Li Wani, with the power of transcendence, keenly sensed a mysterious connection point in the Marvel Universe. Immediately, he took Nemesis and instantly crossed into this unknown space. In their view, this world appears so insignificant. Only the green tree of life standing under the vast starry sky is the true ruler. 
Li Wani slowly walked towards the giant tree symbolizing the tree of life, gazing deeply at every inch of it. He found that the branches of this tree of life were covered with world fruits woven from a miniature universe. These fruits are the embodiment of the abstract concepts of various unique universes in the Marvel Universe. And this green tree of life is the Marvel World Tree that links various unique universes in the Marvel Universe. These fruits are like crows feeding back, constantly conveying ideas and nourishment to the world tree, making it grow strong. The world tree, on the other hand, embraces and blends unique concepts from different Marvel universes with its broad-mindedness. Let these concepts interweave and collide with each other, jointly building a richer and more diverse concept of the universe. Over time, the conceptual hierarchy of various universes gradually deepens, revealing endless possibilities and charm. In the endless universe, Li Wani quietly explores the unique and similar fruits of the universe. After a long search, he finally discovered the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the serial number, Earth.199999. He gently enveloped the fruit of the universe with the power of transcendence, like picking an apple, and removed it from its original place. Then, he put the Marvel movie universe full of fantasy and adventure concepts into his own, transcendent universe, creating a wonderful fusion between the two worlds. Li Wan instantly sensed that the Marvel Cinematic Universe was merging with the Beyond Universe, and its concept was rapidly withdrawing from the Marvel Universe and delving into the core of the field. Immediately after, a mysterious singularity quietly emerged next to the newborn universe in the Beyond Universe. This singularity gradually twisted and diffused, eventually transforming into a huge movie projection screen. This screen is a concrete representation of Marvel's film universe in Beyond the Universe, and the image reflected on the screen is the scene when he and Nemesis had just left the universe. With the deep integration of Marvel Cinematic Universe and Beyond Universe, the space of the universe is quietly expanding. He felt his transcendent power constantly increasing, as if he could manipulate everything in the Marvel movie universe at will. He no longer needs to use the power of transcendence to perceive what he wants to do, he only needs to move his mind and can accomplish anything in this universe. From this moment on, he has officially become the OAA in the Marvel film universe. Li Wani estimated in his heart the achievements of this borrowing and found that transcending the universe had expanded by approximately 0.001% in size and his own transcendent power increased the power of about ten guinea pigs, about. The most important thing is that he perceives that the concept of the Marvel movie universe is much faster and more integrated into the concept compared to other universes. This means that concepts in the real world are constantly changing their own levels of the universe, and are indirectly expanding beyond the universe. Li Wani is very satisfied with this harvest. So he decided to implement his second idea in his heart. He greeted Nemesis and left the unique space of the Marvel World Tree together. Then, the two of them held hands and instantly crossed time and space, arriving at the Earth in the Marvel Cinematic Universe on the timeline of 964 AD. P.S. Sorry, dear Yen Zhu and Ifei, the update of the author is slow. I went to visit a relative who was sick. Can you guess what you mainly want to do with the timeline revealed in this chapter? I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will definitely reply once they see it. Kneeling down to thank the brothers who threw flowers at me, I am very grateful to all the readers for their data feeding. Thank you very much. The picture shows the world tree. Chapter 6 Start getting into trouble and strengthen it a bit. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Li Wan Wan and Nemesis traveled through time and space and arrived on Earth in 964 AD. The scene that comes into view is a silver covered world of ice and snow spreading out, as if shrouded in eternal cold. The place they are in is the Earth of Norway, which has been frozen by the frost giant King Lofizen using the casket. At this time, King Odin of Asgard had not yet arrived here and the army of frost giants who had not completely defeated King Lori had not yet arrived. In the perception of Li Wan Wan and Nemesis, there is no trace of humans on this continent, only the frost giants are stationed here. 
Li Wani also sensed the presence of Wang Laofei, who was leisurely resting in an ice house. However, Li Wanwan found with some regret that he did not perceive the character he had been searching for. So he had to lead Nemesis once again and instantly moved to one of the nine great kingdoms, Jotunheim. As soon as he stepped onto this cold land, he immediately sensed the presence of Wang Laofei's bloodline. So they arrived in front of the pregnant frost giant, and all the senses of the surrounding creatures were temporarily frozen by him. Li Wani immediately took action, using the power of transcendence to gently adjust the fate of the yet-to-be-born Princess Asgard. From this moment on, she fully integrated into the kingdom of Asgard and became the third princess in the Asgard kingdom. And now he has a new name. Loki Lofizen. Li Wani also added some ingredients to make her slightly stronger than Hammer Brother by billions in the future. As soon as he finished this, he sensed the addition of the unique concept of Loki to his Marvel film universe. With the birth of this new concept, he received feedback on the power of transcending the universe, and his own transcendent power increased by 0.1 swallows. Li Wani once again proved the effectiveness of his second idea, and the concept he created using the power of transcendence can indeed have an impact on both the transcendent universe and himself. In an instant, the corner of his mouth rose even harder to suppress than AK, and he showed a genuine expression of mind. At the same time, Nemesis also felt the enhancement of her own transcendence, and she showed a faint smile. Subsequently, Li Wanwan directly propelled the timeline of Marvel Cinematic Universe forward, arriving at Jotunheim in 965 AD. The surrounding scene suddenly darkened, with the remains of Asgard warriors and frost giants scattered on the ground. In this bloody atmosphere, God King Odin picked up a weak baby from the temple of an ice giant. The child smiled at Odin, as if he could instantly purify all evil. Odin's heart was deeply touched, and the anger of slaughter was quelled. He found a solution in his heart to the war between Asgard and Jotunheim. And softly named the baby, Loki Odinson, you will be the key to ending the hatred between us. Subsequently, Odin waved his eternal spear and successfully opened the Rainbow Bridge, returning to Asgard. However, when Li Wan Wan witnessed this scene, he realized that the situation had not completely developed according to his expectations. He knew that Wang Laofei would inevitably abandon his weak daughter, and originally believed that Odin would take away Loki to resolve the hatred between the two countries. However, he did not expect Odin to bestow his family name on Loki. Despite being filled with doubts in his heart, Li Wani did not dwell too much on it because he once again gained 0.1 swallows of transcendent power. He was delighted that his one-dot time operation would yield sustainable benefits. At that moment, the plot from the American drama, Rocky, came to Li Wani's mind, and he couldn't help but feel an urge to play a prank. He turned to Nemesis, his eyes flickering with cunning, and spoke seductively. Do you want to see the story of that Rocky that I haven't modified? It's very interesting and you will definitely like it. Upon hearing Li Wani's suggestion, Nemesis was originally focused on observing his smile gradually solidify. But soon, a spark of curiosity flickered in her eyes. Since you've said it's interesting, I'll take a look at what the original Rocky really has. Nemesis decided to take on the challenge and use the power of transcendence to observe different timelines, exploring the clues of the original story. After a moment, her eyes became more playful and she exclaimed in surprise to Li Wani. Wow! It seems that your proposal is really interesting. I didn't expect there to be an astonishing variant hidden in his original story. He was able to cleverly harness the power of time that split me apart. Now, he has become the master of time. Becoming the time god in charge of all timelines in the multiverse is truly incredible. Nemesis's words suddenly interrupted, as if her thoughts were being pulled by some strong emotion. Her eyes instantly became hot and grateful, turning to Liwani and saying affectionately, However, at that time, he was like myself before I met you. Her voice revealed deep loneliness and helplessness. He sat alone on the throne of time, witnessing everything in the future. But unable to intervene personally, 
I can only watch helplessly as the person I deeply love gradually disappears. She paused for a moment before continuing. But now, I am really grateful to you because you have freed me from this lonely fate. P.S. The author kneels down to thank MYH 1358 for the monthly pass and reward given by this elder brother Yenzu. The author is very grateful for your support and liking. Can you guess what will happen to Loki revealed in this chapter? I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will definitely reply once they see it. Once again, I kneel down and thank the readers who have provided me with various data. The author is extremely grateful. The picture shows the god of time, Loki. Chapter 7 Deep Emotions, Loki's Identity Exposed You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Li Wan Wan heard Nemesis's affectionate words, his inner regret surged like a tide. He never expected and unintentionally revealed the secret of the god of time, Loki. Unexpectedly, it touched Nemesis's deep dot seated emotions and grievances. He was originally just curious to see how Nemesis would react when he learned about Loki's inheritance of the power of time. Unexpectedly, his unintentional actions moved her so much and plunged him into deep self-blame. He urgently comforted Nemesis. Don't worry, it's natural. You have become an indispensable part of my life, and there's no need to thank you. He was well aware of his mistake and attempted to heal Nemesis's inner trauma with words. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned those painful memories for you. Li Wani's tone was full of apologies and he said gently. We all have endless time, let me give you my favorite sentence to express my feelings. You're here, I'm here, we've been here all along. This sentence seemed to have magical power, instantly making Nemesis's eyes moist. She choked up and responded. Hmm. Nemesis repeated this sentence softly, as if savoring its profound meaning. This sentence is really beautiful, it makes me feel peaceful and at ease. After experiencing this incident, the relationship between Nemesis and Liwani became even deeper. They became lovers of each other for the wrong reasons and grew up to be partners who shared hardships. Even in the cold Jotunheim, their feelings were still as passionate as fire. After a period of inner peace, they decided to embark on a journey to observe Loki on different timelines. On the timeline of Earth in 967 AD, Loki in Asgard was already three years old. Unlike before, she is now a cute little girl with black hair. She loves her mother, Frega, and particularly enjoys learning phantom magic from her. Although she is only over three years old, her phantom magic has become quite proficient, able to transform into some lifeless objects that are both fake and real. Six years later, on the timeline of the Earth in 973 AD, Loki was already nine years old. She is still a quiet and lovely little Loli with black hair. In the past six years, her phantom magic has continuously improved, and she can even change her body shape as she pleases. In addition, she is passionate about the rich collection of books in the Asgard library and often uses her free time to learn about the knowledge of the other nine realms. Nine years later, on the timeline of the Earth in 982 AD. In the night sky of Asgard at this moment, the stars twinkled, as if illuminating Loki's coming-of-age ceremony. At the age of 18, she is like a blooming flower, full of youthful vitality and infinite charm. She was dressed in a gorgeous dress, with a sweet smile on her face and infinite longing for the future in her eyes. The people of Asgard offered her blessings and gifts one after another, and Thor, as a loyal, guardian of sister control. A special surprise was carefully prepared for her, and he entrusted the dwarf king of what Arkham. A pair of exquisite magical daggers were crafted using their own URU divine gold as an adult gift for Loki. These daggers not only represent Thor's deep love for his sister, but also express his good wishes for her future. As the night deepened, the battle in the arena that the people of Asgard loved the most began. As the focus of the banquet, Loki naturally wanted to showcase her strength. However, as a sister control, Thor was unable to sit idly by and see his sister in potential danger. Therefore, without hesitation, 
he became the first to challenge Loki Bolson. His action not only demonstrated his deep affection for his sister, but also proved his courage and determination as a brother to everyone present. The challenge kicked off in an instant, and Thor looked at his seemingly weak sister with pity. Confidently believing that she could never defeat herself. Therefore, he intends to intentionally lose to her, just show off and easily defeat the team. However, to Thor's surprise, his sister's phantom magic had reached a perfect level, making it impossible for him to distinguish between truth and falsehood. She deftly dodged his attacks and frequently used the URU dagger he personally gifted to launch surprise attacks, accurately piercing his waist. Feeling ashamed, Thor was forced by his sister to inadvertently communicate with him about the Odin power embedded in his own bloodline. In an instant, a raging thunderous force erupted from him, charging uncontrollably towards the stunned Loki. Just as the thunder was about to touch her body, she felt a deep danger. A powerful force suddenly emerged within her body, and she instinctively utilized it. Formed a strong ice shield in front of oneself, successfully withstanding the fierce impact of the thunder. Luaji witnessed the thunderous attack in front of her being blocked, and the ice shield shattered accordingly. As someone who had been familiar with the knowledge of the Nine Realms for many years, she immediately recognized the power of the ice from the frost giant clan in the kingdom of Jotunheim. In shock, she realized that she was not a princess of Asgard, and even had no Asgard ancestry. But rather the archenemy depicted in Asgard's collection. Members of the cruel and ruthless Frost Giants clan. This discovery made her fall into a state of collapse, feeling like she was completely an outsider. The people of Asgard around also began to whisper, speculating why their own princess possessed the power of ice. Only Thor, who had a relatively small brain capacity, did not notice the problem and still felt happy that he and his sister had gained new strength. Subsequently, Asgard's time seemed to have come to a halt, and everyone except Thor and Loki fell into a deep sleep of consciousness. Odin and Freya appeared in front of them, and Freya quickly hugged Loki, who was in a state of collapse, and said gently. No matter what you look like, you will always be my daughter and I will always be your mother. Freya's words made Loki feel deep maternal love and care, gradually calming down. She began to imagine in her mind the confusion of why she was the frost giant and why she became Princess Asgard. Odin looked at Loki with a guilty expression in his eyes. He silently erased people's memories of the arena and awakened the people of Asgard. Then, announcing the end of the banquet, he led his family back to the palace. In the hidden room of the palace, Odin, with deep guilt, recounted her true identity and expectations for Loki and Thor in detail. I hope she can completely eliminate the hatred between the two countries. Odin's words made the atmosphere in the room heavy. But Thor firmly stated that no matter what identity Loki is, she will always be his sister and he will always protect her from harm. And Loki remained silent, immersed in her own thoughts. P.S. The author kneels down to thank 13268 for the reminder vote given by Yen Zhu. The author is very grateful for your support and liking. Regarding the questions about the settings of this book that readers have raised, the author has provided a unified explanation in the question section of the comment section. The author has also promoted various rewards from readers. I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will definitely reply once they see it. Once again, I kneel down and thank the readers who have provided me with various data. The author is extremely grateful. The picture shows Loki Odinson. Chapter 8 Untying the Heart Knot, Loki, Born as a King You are listening at Novel Full Audio. In this secluded room, a silent atmosphere gradually enveloped everything. Thor maintained his big heart and continued to smile carefree. However, Odin and Freyja were deeply troubled. They were afraid that Loki would feel uneasy because they had concealed her true identity. But Loki remained silent, immersed in recalling her past stories. Since Odin revealed to her the reasons and process behind his discovery and upbringing of her. After meeting her expectations, she gradually pieced together the fragments from her memory. 
After studying Asgard's ancient books, she gained a deeper understanding of the history and culture of Jotunheim. I have also gained a profound understanding of the bloodline concept of the Frost Giant. As a descendant of the King of Frost Giants, Lefersen, she is undoubtedly the true princess of Jotunheim. But in the world of Frost Giants, physique and strength are considered the supreme laws. However, she was born as a weak baby girl, unable to meet the expectations of this cruel world. Therefore, I was mercilessly abandoned by my biological father in the temple, lonely and helpless. Fortunately, the god of fate did not give up on me. My current father met me, and he was moved by my innocence and innocence, giving up a life of slaughter. He saw my potential as the crown prince of Jotunheim and decided to cultivate me as the next king. After Wan Laofei's death, I will become the sole ruler of Jotunheim, leading this kingdom towards a new future. It can restrain the rebellious heart of the Frost Giant and completely resolve the past hatred between him and Asgard. The father chose to adopt her, while the mother sympathized with her background, which is why the mother has a deeper preference for her than Thor. After Loki sorted out these thoughts, the sadness in her heart dissipated. She understood the intentions of Father Odin, and despite his own considerations, he saved her from a desperate situation in the temple. Mother Frega's deep affection and kindness towards her far exceeded Thor's. Loki knew very well that it was better to raise her by herself than by birth. Since her own father had chosen to give up on her. She also has two parents who love her deeply and a loyal elder brother who guards her. What resentment does she have? So, Loki's eyes showed an increasingly determined light, and she slowly stood up from her seat, speaking solemnly to the three family members. Father, Queen Mother, Brother, you don't have to worry about me anymore. I have thoroughly sorted out my background and will no longer indulge in sadness. Father and Mother, thank you for giving me life and that extraordinary favor. I will remember your nurturing kindness in my heart, no matter when or where, I am your beloved daughter. Brother, I also sincerely thank you for your companionship and support all along. You are willing to play and play with me. But now, I have a profound understanding of my innate responsibility and mission as a king, and I will work tirelessly to become stronger. Brother, you must be careful not to let me easily surpass you. After Loki finished speaking with sincere and grateful words, Odin, Freyja, and Thor present were deeply moved by her words. They let go of their worries and felt Loki's growth and determination. For Odin and Freyja, their little cotton padded jacket has grown up completely and they understand their true dedication. They are proud of their daughter's mission of being born king, while also feeling gratified by her resilience and courage. And Thor, as his brother, expressed his support and encouragement to Loki, telling her that he would always protect her. No matter where she goes, no matter what difficulties she encounters. At this moment, the familial bond and trust between them became even deeper. As Loki's sincere words fell, the heavy atmosphere instantly dissipated, and the room was filled with a warm atmosphere. A family of four started chatting about their daily life, with constant laughter and joy, forming a harmonious and beautiful family scene. Liwani and Nemesis silently watched everything, deeply touched in their hearts. As an orphan, Liwani felt a deep sense of family affection from the Odin family. He was determined to establish an equally warm family, allowing his wings to fly freely. Nemesis, on the other hand, fell into contemplation, seeming to be pondering something in his heart. Then, the two of them embarked on a journey again, browsing through the subsequent developments of the story like watching a movie fast forward. During the hundred years from 982 to 1100 AD, Loki tirelessly fought for the pursuit of greater interests in her heart. After the coming of age ceremony, she found out that she had the frost giant bloodline and found a quick way to become stronger. After obtaining permission from her father, she began to utilize the energy contained in the ice box. Absorbing and strengthening the power of cold ice in one's own bloodline. When the absorption of daily ice power reached its limit, Loki engaged in a fierce battle with Thor to hone her combat skills. On a quiet night, Loki learned Asgard's ancient magical knowledge from her mother, Freyja. 
As time passed silently, ten years had passed in the blink of an eye. The people in the Asgard arena are all enthusiastic. They look forward to witnessing the country's prince and princess engage in a fierce battle for the first time. For them, this is an unprecedented experience, full of mystery and curiosity. The battle began, and Loki's displayed strength far exceeded Thor's imagination, it was like a one-dot-sided battle. She gave up the temptation of phantom magic and instead used Asgard's lightning five whips magic. The fight made Thor scurry around, dodging everywhere. As she dodged, Loki caught his flaw and used her icy power to freeze him instantly. The battle ended as a result, and Loki achieved this victory. Odin expressed appreciation for this exciting battle in the arena and bestowed upon Loki Asgard the title of God of Ice. P.S. The author kneels down to thank 15361 for the monthly pass given by this elder brother Yenzu. The author is very grateful for your support and liking. 13268 This Yenzu elder brother gave a reminder vote, and the author accepted today's update with peace of mind. I went to help my parents today, but the update was late. I'm sorry, readers. I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will definitely reply once they see it. Once again, I kneel down and thank the readers who have provided me with various data. The author is extremely grateful. The picture shows Loki Odinson as an adult. Chapter 9 Starting from the Asgard Plain, Double Material Special you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Between 1100 and 1200, Loki defeated Thor for a hundred consecutive years. I did not feel complacent or stagnant. She insists on engaging in fierce battles with Thor every day, honing her fighting skills. And at night, she learned the mysteries of Rune from Freyja and Odin. As time passed, Loki's mastery of Rune of Luin became more and more proficient. She demonstrated her unwavering spirit and determination to constantly pursue progress. One day, after observing the situation of the world tree with Odin, Loki unexpectedly came to understand her own rune of rune. In 1300 AD, it was a special day in Asgard, where the city was filled with a lively and joyful atmosphere. The faces of the people were filled with enthusiasm. Because today is the day when their Prince Thor will be ordained as the God of Thunder by their own divine king. However, in this joyful moment, Loki chose to quietly leave. She used her past leisure time to find a spatial passage leading to Jotunheim. And on this important day for his brother, he resolutely left Asgard and teleported to Jotunheim. After stepping into Jotunheim, Loki showed her astonishing icy power without hesitation to the frost giants who had noticed her existence. They were shocked by one of them. Then, she revealed her true identity. The Princess of Asgard. And the fact that she is still a descendant of the frost giants King Lorisan. After hearing this news, the frost giants expressed their willingness to lead her to the palace to meet their king. Amidst the curious and expectant gazes of the crowd, Loki bravely challenged their king. And frankly speaking, the loser will face the fate of eating dust. As the king of Jotunheim, Lawson naturally cannot refuse this challenge. At the same time, he also felt disdainful towards the little brat he had once abandoned. Subsequently, he directly agreed to the challenge and fate of the king from Loki after his defeat. So, the battle was about to break out. Wang Laofei took the lead in attempting to completely freeze Luo Ji with her powerful icy power. However, due to Loki continuously absorbing the energy contained in the ice box for a long time, her icy power was already on par with that of Wang Laofei, rendering her ice blocking tactics ineffective. At the same time, Loki's ice attack cannot cause substantial damage to Wang Laofei, who has extremely high ice resistance. So, the two of them began a fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat, portraying a classic scene of father's kindness and daughter's filial piety, and the scene was deeply moving. The battle between the two sides has become increasingly intense, and Wang Laofei has gained the upper hand with years of combat experience and far superior strength. Luoji became increasingly powerless, 
and suddenly a sentence from her mother's words came back to her mind. If the illusion magic reaches reality, the boundary between reality and illusion will melt. After this wave of memories ended, she used her own understanding and unique rune of rune. Phantom. Attempting to reverse the situation, she was seen clapping her hands heavily on the ground. In an instant, Asgard, cast from gold, appeared in the cold Jotunheim. Loki once heard Odin talk about Asgard possessing a unique power. The power of Asgard. At this moment, she seemed to feel the presence of this force and began to communicate with it. With the power of Asgard and the blessing of Rune of Luen, she unexpectedly dragged down her biological father, who was far stronger than herself. In the end, she defeated the king of Jotunheim, Raffle's son, and became the new king of Jotunheim. As Lawson finally collapsed exhausted, the frost giants who had been watching and devouring the king's war were all amazed. They once thought that their own king was just giving his descendants an opportunity to showcase themselves and easily defeat them. However, what they never expected was that the powerful king who ruled over Jotunheim for thousands of years would be defeated by the continuation of their own bloodline. Subsequently, it is unknown which frost giant took the lead in kneeling down to Loki and performing a royal salute. Then, one frost giant after another bowed to Loki and acknowledged her position as the new king. With the recognition of all the frost giants, Jotunheim also extended an olive branch to her, establishing a connection with her. The power of Jotunheim continuously surged into Loki's body, gradually transforming her into a true sub-heavenly father-level powerhouse. In the previous king's challenge, for the sake of fairness, Jotunheim once cut off the power bestowed upon Lofism. However, with the power of Asgard created by oneself and the blessing of Rune of Luan, Luaji briefly became a strong member of the sub-heavenly father level and successfully defeated her own father. Now, with the continuous blessing of the power of Jotunheim, she has finally become a true sub-heavenly father level powerhouse. As the smoke of the king's challenge came to an end, Loki, as the new king of Jotunheim. She resolutely convened high dot level officials from various races in the country to convey a brand new concept to them. She told them that after this Nine Realms War, Jotunheim had already paid a heavy price. Moreover, it was they who first provoked the war with Asgard and ultimately became a defeated country. Now, the most important thing is to regain vitality and let go of the hatred between each other. Establishing new connections with Asgard and achieving resource exchange is the right path. After Loki, as the king, made such a suggestion to her people for the first time, the high dot level officials present began to discuss it one after another. Except for the frost giant race, other races such as mountain giant and storm giant have seriously considered this proposal. They are well aware of the power of the god King Odin of Asgard, and if they continue to fight against Asgard, Jotunheim is about to face a fate of survival, and they were actually not willing to go to war with Asgard before. It was only because of a deep hatred towards the previous Bolson family that they took the opportunity to rebel. In addition, Jotunheim's resources were relatively scarce, so he chose to respond to Wang Laofei's call. Now, they have welcomed a kind and dual-status queen, Lady Loki. They couldn't help but wonder if under her leadership, Jotunheim would have a better life. Although the senior management of the Frost Giant had concerns about letting go of war and hatred, they still chose to obey their own king's orders. In the eyes of those who prioritize power, since Wang is Luo Ji, then they should follow her wishes. As time went by, the high dot level officials of various races within Jotunheim gradually reached a consensus and decided to let Loki give it a try. They are willing to give her a chance to see if she can make their lives better. If they fail, it's not too late for them to consider launching a war and fighting to the death. At this critical moment, Loki's leadership ability and wisdom will also be severely tested. P.S. The author sincerely apologizes to everyone. We had promised to have three shifts. However, after helping his parents with their tasks, the young author was caught in the cold and suffered from severe frontal sinusitis. After coding chapter 8, it really didn't work anymore. 
It was drowsy and caused the author to copy an extra paragraph from the author's assistant when publishing chapter 8. The author immediately made the necessary changes. This has greatly caused a bad reading experience for all readers. The author kneels here and sincerely apologizes to everyone. The picture shows Loki Odinson. Chapter 10 Loki, born as a king, finally becomes a covenant. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After obtaining the unanimous agreement of all the leaders of Jotunheim, Loki immediately summoned them all over. She revealed an important message to them. She planned to take them to Asgard to discuss important matters of friendship with the god King Odin. As a princess who had lived in Asgard for hundreds of years, Loki was well aware of the powerful abilities of her father, Odin, and the guardian god of Asgard, Heimdall. She was well aware that she had secretly run to Jotunheim to challenge Wang Laufei as the king. We cannot escape their perception. Especially after communicating with Asgard's power, Loki felt even more strongly that someone was watching her. She found that there was always a gaze closely following her every move. At the same time, she also noticed a black crow staring at her with sharp eyes on a decaying tree near the battlefield. It is obvious that these two gazes belong to the guardian god of Asgard, Himdal, who has full vision, and the crow, who represents the thoughts of Father Odin, the Luckin crow. They are constantly monitoring their own situation to ensure that she will not encounter any accidents and are ready to provide necessary support at any time. So, Loki looked up at the sky and said softly. Heimdall, I know you've been watching me all along. Please open the rainbow bridge and teleport us to Asgard. As soon as the words fell, a dazzling seven-colored beam of light instantly descended, enveloping the leaders of Jotunheim and Loki together. In the next moment, they were guided by the power of the rainbow bridge and teleported to Asgard. At this moment, the people of Asgard gathered in the arena, their faces filled with endless excitement and joy. Their Prince Thor, this brave and fearless warrior. He has been bestowed with the title of, God of Thunder, by King Odin and is currently facing a challenge from the warriors of Asgard. However, in this joyful moment, the open ground of the arena was suddenly impacted by the teleportation energy of the Rainbow Bridge, adding a touch of mystery to this feast. The smoke gradually drifted away with the wind, revealing more than 100 Jotunheim people in the sight of the Asgard people, who appeared in different postures in the arena. The sudden scene made the atmosphere on sight suddenly tense, and the people of Asgard immediately prepared for battle, clutching their personal weapons. However, Odin, who knew everything from beginning to end, quickly used his divine power to amplify his voice. I clarified to everyone that this was not an invasion, but a hard dot earned friendly negotiation. Under the comfort of the Divine King, everyone let go of their guard and waited quietly for the next development. Next, something happened that surprised everyone. Princess Loki revealed her true identity to them, she was not from Asgard. But rather a descendant abandoned by the Frost Giants King Lawson, brought back and raised by his own father from Jotunheim. Luaji paused for a moment, her face showing an extremely proud expression, looking proudly at her father, mother, and brother. Then, announced to the people of Asgard. I, Loki Odinson, although I have the bloodline of the Frost Giant, I am even more proud to call myself the Princess of Asgard. I have been deeply aware of the mission and responsibility of being born king since I was young, under the care of my father and mother. Just now, I successfully defeated the former king of Jotunheim, Lawson, and officially became the new queen of Jotunheim. I stood in front of the leaders of Jotunheim and explained my vision to them. I told them that I hoped to completely end the past hatred with Asgard, establish new connections, and achieve mutual exchange of resources. I believe that this is the right path for both sides. Only through cooperation and communication can we achieve common prosperity and development. As the new Queen Jotunheim, I will do my best to lead my people towards a bright future. Loki's words fell heavily like a heavy hammer, and every Asgard present felt their weight. Although they had some doubts about the princess's identity, they were more impressed by her heroic action. In their eyes, 
King Lafferson of Jotunheim was on the same level as their divine King Odin. Now, their royal highness princess has defeated Lauren and become the new king. Does this mean that the strength of the royal highness princess is almost the same as that of the god king? They even began to imagine that Princess Loki had now become the divine king of Jotunheim. Does it mean that Jotunheim will extend an olive branch of reconciliation to Asgard? Both parties will establish contact and achieve mutual exchange of resources. This idea made them extremely excited and excited. Because in this catastrophe of the Nine Realms, Asgard also suffered a heavy blow. Their loved ones and loved ones have all become victims of war. Some people leave forever, while the living carry unhealed pain. However, when there is a possibility of ending years of war between both sides, when the opportunity for trade was presented to them, a glimmer of hope immediately ignited in their eyes. They have long coveted the abundant resources of Jotunheim, especially the intoxicating and powerful wine, which is their favorite. Imagining the beautiful future of peaceful trade, the people of Asgard turned their expectant gaze to their king. They also firmly followed the decision of King Asgard, whether accepting the alliance or refusing and continuing the battle, they were determined without hesitation. At this moment, Odin and Freyja's eyes were flushed, and they held back their tears to prevent them from slipping. Although they were already aware of Loki's actions. But witnessing their daughter fulfill her mission and responsibility of being born king still deeply shocked them. The silly Thor pondered in his heart why his sister was so brave, even taking the throne of the divine king of Jotunheim. Under the curious gaze of the people of Asgard, Odin solemnly agreed to the proposal of Queen Jotunheim Loki Odinson. And declare that she will always be the princess of Asgard, and if anyone discusses her identity again, she will be stripped of her Asgard identity and expelled. Subsequently, the leaders of Loki and Jotunheim had friendly negotiations with Asgard, represented by Odin. From that day on, Jotunheim and Asgard completely abandoned their past hatred. Odin also established a Rainbow Bridge teleportation point within the territory of Jotunheim to promote closer communication and exchange between the two countries. Both sides are engaged in frequent trade, and the fine wine of Jotunheim and various magical minerals are highly popular in Asgard. And Asgard's exquisite utensils and magical weapons can greatly improve their living habits, and they have also become popular in Jotunheim. P.S. What do you think of the ending of Loki like this? After watching the American drama, Loki, the author was moved by Loki in the play and came up with ideas for these chapters. I look forward to receiving comments from readers, and the author will definitely reply once they see it. Once again, I kneel down and thank the readers who have provided me with various data. The author is extremely grateful. The picture shows Queen Jotunheim, Loki Odinson.